So what we're going to do uh, today is just take a nice introductory walkthrough through the ShareSale um, merchant interface. Um, on your screen you should be able to see. Uh, right now you'll see a slate and we are actually going to go over to the ShareSale site. Um, I'll be walking you through one of our demo accounts so that you'll get an idea of how um, everything works. Um, on the top right hand corner of the ShareSale page is a merchant login and an affiliate login. At some point you probably do want to sign up for an affiliate um, account because this will enable you to see like how all the tools and all the creatives that you upload for affiliates, how it actually appears to them from their point of view. But for now, we'll go ahead and go to Merchant Login. I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Now this is the merchant homepage. Um, what we see here, um, this is always where you're going to start. Some very few, uh, there are a few uh, things that you should probably take a look at every time you log in. Um, first is right over here under total affiliates, it shows you how many affiliates are approved into your program, how many of them are waiting to be approved into your program, and how many of them you've declined. If you click on any one of these, it will actually take you to a page that lists out how many lists out all the affiliates that belong in that category. The other pieces of data you see on here are performance statistics over the last 30 days and the last 7 days. Um, the first thing that we see here is EPC. EPC stands for Earnings Per Click. Uh, the way ShareASell calculates it is your average commissions paid out over the last 100 clicks, averaged over 7 days or over 30 days. We also have the reversal rate, conversion rate, um, and average sale. For each one of these, we also have a trend chart. So, for example, on the conversion ratio for seven days, if you click the trend chart, it'll show you um, both the, I'll scroll down a little bit, it'll show you both the 30-day uh, in red as well as a seven-day conversion rate in yellow. So you can kind of get a sense historically um, maybe when it peaked over at like about four and a half percent conversion rate um, you can figure out what day that happened on perhaps it was related to a sale or um, a new coupon code that you may have released um, and then you can see that it dipped down um, around June 1st perhaps that may have been related to a holiday um, or some other type of thing so that these are uh, definitely stats that you want to keep uh, in touch with um, if you scroll back up to the top of the menu just to get back to the merchant homepage is the link right there under account settings. The other thing that is important to know on your merchant homepage is on the very far left under announcements and news. If you scroll down to the bottom you'll see a text box that contains a link to your actual um, affiliate program uh, join page. Um, this is where an affiliate, if you if you meet an affiliate at a conference and you're interested in recruiting them into your program, this is a link that you would provide them with to get them to sign up. 